Let's open the Terra Prime Weapons Locker. Hey there, fellow Saber Nerds. This is Nero Otaru of TPLA. I'm uh, going to do a TPLA Weapons Locker today, um, reviewing the Vader's Vault Revan Elite. Uh, this hilt is based off of Revan's hilt from Knights of the Old Republic. It's from the Vader's Vault Combat Class line, which all include uh, Crystal Shard version 2.5. Uh, it's a Plector Labs soundboard with uh, high quality sound and up to six sound banks for different sound fonts. Um, I got it with specific features. Um, the nice thing is you have a lot of options on that site. Uh, red lit anti-vandal switch, uh, anodized black, uh, copper, emitter and like I said the elite version gives you this nice powder coating which adds some detail as opposed to the regular silver uh, Revan hilt which I mean is actually pretty nice as well I'm sure you could do a lot with it customizing um, anyway uh, I, one of the most important things I ordered well two were the um, Tri-Rebel Sun Crusher uh, the Tri-Cree sorry not the Tri-Rebel um, Sun Crusher LED which uh, is a very bright LED that they like to use for their uh, higher end builds for their um, basically to, to enable flash on clash and the RGB one being f used for uh, color change. Um, and I also ordered the RGB option which is a separate thing that allows you to change colors up to uh, with up to 10 color banks essentially. Uh, Vader's Vault presets 10 of them uh, they're very good presets. Uh, you can alter them as you see fit. I haven't changed any yet uh, because I haven't really found any that I don't want on there. Uh, but I'll probably tinker with it eventually. But for right now, I'm very happy. Um, overall, if I had to say uh, you know, how I feel about this hilt, very comfortable to wield. Uh, the color change feature is incredible and it allows for so much customization, so much you know, potential. Um, I've gotten a number of other lightsabers in the mail uh, you know, awarded them for various companies. It's always been exciting. It's always been, you know, a big deal. This time, though, there's something about the color change feature that just gives you so many more options that make, you know, keeps you excited because you can always just keep changing it up as you go along. Um, you know, what I really like is that you can just use this for just about any cosplay. You could change it to from blue to red to purple, anything you wanted. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing a Jedi Revan cosplay with it. But anyway, I'll actually demonstrate this now. Uh, not sure if you can see this, but it comes with a Revan uh, symbol uh, blade plug. That's something I got because I ordered it um, the first month it came out. Uh, they may still be doing it, actually. I'm not sure. But this is a 36 inch Vader's Vault. Uh, standard blade. They use a dual diffused blade, I believe. Um, very nice looking. I don't actually, even though it's uh, very well balanced with this hilt in particular, I do not plan on dueling with it, simply because it's so nice looking I would not want to scuff it up. Uh, this is going to be my show blade. The lightweight nature of it balances well with the hilt and it actually allows for maximum light diffusion. Uh, so your blade looks nice and bright. So the first font is actually Light Meat, a uh, pretty standard Jedi font. So I have it starting, uh, starting on blue. Uh, one of the features of it is that you know, each sound font, uh, whichever color you leave off on, whichever you power it down on, it stays on that. So you know, I left specific ones for each font just because you know, I'm a dork like that. If you're wondering how bright it is, uh, which was something I was questioning when I was going to buy it, um, 
being as it has color change, so you always give up a little bit of brightness. It's very bright. Uh, this is running on probably low batteries because I've used it so much, and it's actually uh, one, the, uh, the, the red, the green, and the blue are actually some of my favorite colors of all time for lightsabers. Um, they look spectacular, even though they're essentially running on one die, so they're running on three watts, and they still are just as bright as basically any other saber in my collection. Pretty impressive. Um, definitely go for the tri uh, If Even if you don't go for the RGB, definitely you want it. Um, it's worth it. And uh, you know, I'm not sure if you can tell on video, but it, you know, it is pretty bright in here, middle of the day. Um, even though the shades are down, it's quite bright in this room and it, it shows up beautifully. So anyway, I'll show you the other fonts real quick. This is gray meat, I believe. Kind of a sithy sounding thing, so I left the red on there. I thought that was nice. This is the uh, Imperial Knight. Um, it's one of the ones that comes preset along with the gray meat and the light meat. Um, obviously, Imperial Knight, I left it on silver. Mad Cow's Rogue. This is their Torange color. It's a nice, intense orange. Very good sound font, too. Yeah. Mad Cow's Jaina, SOTJ. I'm a big fan of that font because I'm a big EU nerd, and that's a uh, New Jedi Order themed. And this is Flourish, I believe, by Mad Cow. And that's it. Um, I will be doing some combat testing and show that. Uh, you'll be able to see that right after this. But um, overall, conclusions, uh, very impressed. I would recommend this to anyone. Uh, for combat, for, for belt hanger, for just about anything. Um, just about anyone with any type of preferences. It's overall a great hilt. The work that Vaderswell does is excellent. Um, even if you don't like this hilt in particular, if you happen to find one on their site that you do like, go for it. I don't think anyone will be disappointed with it. Uh, and I will keep you all posted as I use this more and get a better feel for how it holds up. <laughs>